good deal. It's a good deal. I stand with a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, everybody? Thank you for checking out the Duder Man hey. Home Road Podcast, the DMHB Pod. The fellas are here. We got Jacob Flores, Scott Ramos, I am Patrick Christopher. And as a very special guest, we got Laura Ortiz. Hi. <sighs> Laura, every time I hear the name Laura, not just you, for everybody, I always think of Laura Winslow. Do you get that a lot? Who? Uh, I'm, old. I'm old. Yeah. I'm old. I'm old. Really? Yeah, I have no idea who the f*** Laura Obviously Winslow is. Obviously, your family didn't oh, matter. Wow. You don't know family matter? Do you know Stephen Urkel? Stefan Urkel? <laughs> oh, Urkel? Yeah. <laughs> no, Urkel. There's two of them. I, I don't... I feel like y'all are trying to pull my, my leg. Whoa. No, that was the whole oh. thing with... Uh, anytime I think of Laura, I always think of Laura Winslow. Oh. No, it was I, it was Stephen Urkel, Steve Urkel. Mm-hmm. And then he what he had like a device or some shit. I think, I think and he would come out and he'd be all charming as shit with Stefan. Okay. Swagger, it's fine. Though. I thought Usher and Ursher were two different people Ursher. at one point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just because really? John said it differently. Yeah. 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 Ursher. Yeah. How uh, old are you again? How old am I? Yeah, getting the data reference. That that, that feels invasive. But. Well, okay, right. <laughs> if you don't know Family Matters, what uh, TGIF? Yeah. Do you remember TGIF? No. Wow, dude, I'm old, dude. Y'all, y'all don't know TGIF. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm gonna go 26. I'm gonna go 25. I'm not gonna guess because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I was born in '94. Damn. Oh, you should know TGIF. Yeah, you're 20. Well, no, she was like a baby when I, TGIF was I'm popular. I'm 30. We're the same age. Yeah, but 93. I was very sheltered. I couldn't watch TV Monday through Fridays. Mm. Really? Yeah. Monday What'd you do? Uh, Read. Homework mostly. Mostly we, homework we or like before, art or shit like that. We were talking before. Did you grow up in Louisiana? No. So basically, I was born in Galveston. Uh, I was born with a a couple of birth defects. One of them was that my vocal cords didn't work. Mm. And so they took me to God's a... Plan. <laughs> 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 I'm a child of Satan at this point. <laughs> no, they took me to Louisiana because there was a speech uh, program that they were doing that was experimental to get kids like me to start talking. So... <laughs> I spent about like two or three years in Louisiana, New Orleans, and then after that, moved to San Antonio, and then stayed in San Antonio for three years, Corpus for two years, and then back to San Antonio, and kind of like settled down. But your family's based in San Antonio? Mm, Yeah, mostly, Uh, yeah. I mean, my mom's side of the family all lives in Colorado, Colorado Springs, because they're all big weed huds, and my dad's side of the family is mostly based in Laredo and Corpus. They're in trafficking? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> There's some cartel activity we don't talk about. <laughs> you know, yeah, we you won't say your age up. when you tell the family business out there. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to answer those types of questions, but my family, they're in deep. <laughs> some sh- hey, if what I'm gonna, if I'm being murdered, it'll be fine. Man. I'll die young. All right, that's How's the dream. You're already past that. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They weren't like they weren't a big TV family, or you just weren't allowed to watch TV. Or? So That's they learned to talk because you get high. TV's cool go to. Growing up, my family harped on academics. Like all of y'all are gonna get full ride scholarships to colleges, and you're gonna be like the best athletes, the best at academics. And the way they thought about doing that was just to deprive us of TV Monday through Fridays, and then we couldn't. Were they athletic? Uh. <laughs> Not really, no. Damn. That, that genetics is brain. They saw you as a meal ticket. You're so, because like, <laughs> like my dad's a doctor, right? And then my mom. Really? Was, yeah. My dad's a cardiologist here okay. in San Antonio. He does really well for himself. Okay. You know, which isn't surprising because it's one of the fattest cities in America. So, lots of business. Yeah. You know. Are you a disappointment? Kind of. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yo, it's a doctor. I mean, like, I'm a disappointment. I don't even know what my dad does completely. I did make fun of Laura. She pulled up and I saw a bumper sticker on her car. I was like, you got a bumper sticker? What did it say? Coexist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my dad hates those bumper stickers, by Salt the way. Life. What was yeah, it? he hates those bumper stickers. He's like, I just don't understand how you could support one religion that wants the murder of all the other religions. That's my dad. I mean, that's a small point of it, I guess. But uh, what does your bumper sticker say? Uh, my bumper sticker just says Frost on it because I work for... A coffee company, and we call our sh- milkshakes frosts. Mm. So I just stole it from work one day. 
represent. <laughs> and you, you love let them know job. every day you work. Yeah, you love your job that much. <laughs> That's that okay. Represent. They approved it. They're like, huh. Yeah. Okay, you can keep that. It's called promotion. And you're drinking Dutch Bros. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. She's a brand, man. Isn't that like a competitor? What? No, this is the company I work for. Oh, shit. All right. I just like to not mention it specifically. Just and if did. people if people put the implication together, that's fine. Mm. But I don't I never said it out of my mouth. Y'all implied it. See, I thought the frost, I thought kid frost. I, thought I was thinking Frost, but I was like, maybe she's a Spurs fan or the Spurs uh, archaeologist, whatever. No. Archaeologist. Do you know who Kid Frost is? You're no. you're probably like, oh so okay, you couldn't watch TV <laughs> or listen to music? Not really. I didn't really listen to a lot of music. Really? I'm very much, I don't know how I ended up in comedy because I had no cultural references growing up. Yeah, that's rough. Like, you got to have, like, essential references. Yeah. I'm not that good of it. Like, Patton Oswalt, one of the kings, uh, uh, Big J, Okerson, one mm-hmm. of the kings of references. Deep, deep references. Deep. Deep. That you don't even know that you know until he mentions it. Like, I know that. How does he fucking know to put that there? It's, it's wild. So I'm really bad with uh, references and stuff. But like, so no TV. I mean, no like network television. Were you able to watch movies? Mm, so during the week, if it was for a class assignment, <laughs> then yeah, I could watch TV. Damn. But like, they had to like, my parents had to be in the room watching whatever I was watching for class assignment. And usually it was wow. it so they was didn't watch TV the either. News. No, that's uh, all y'all watched. Uh, on the weekends, we could watch whatever we wanted for uh, however long we wanted. But I guess sucks. that's a payoff. Even during the summer? During the summer, no. Rules are different during the summer. Awesome. That's that's fair. Yeah. School's out. That's dude. fair. School's out. My parents are working slash like doing whatever, and they don't want to deal with their children or give them any enrichment. So TV it is. you know. Yeah, man. I mean, that's the same thing with uh, screen time with uh, iPads sure. and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so crazy, like how like everybody, like all the kids have like pads, and they're just oh, like, and they can just, and I, I, I'm like talk shit, but I'm just like, yeah, mm. it's stupid, dude. Every day, I'm like, dude, stop being on the phone so much, and then I go to my, <laughs> yeah, it's like, hard. As soon as he gets home from school, like all he wants to do is like play Roblox. So like I'll play with him sometimes, yeah. but like I'm mad because he's good at it, and I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just called like, being old. No TV. Yeah. Like, do you ever do you get the screen time updates? Do they send them to y'all? What screen time weekly, update? Yeah, Sometimes I get them on my iPhone. It says how long I'm on my phone. Yeah. Like I, if it's increased or decreased. Yeah, mine. Yeah. Mine. It's uh, too much. Apple. All yeah. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm Android. They don't do that. So I set up my Facebook to limit myself to two hours. Two hours is a lot, and I max that out by lunchtime. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Wow. Well, it depends on like, especially if I'm like promoting a show or something, or mm. promoting something, then I'm always on there. I'm checking like, oh, what's it what's look like? Yeah, yeah what's engagement? engagement? If see people have messaged you about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying my best to like get off of that stuff because like, like okay, you pick up your phone. What do you do? Me? Yes. I'm either on Instagram or playing Sudoku. That's it. Yeah, I do games now. <laughs> yeah. I, I play know. a lot of Sudoku, a lot of Wordle, a lot of the New York Times. I've like, never fucked with Have you ever gotten Wordle. one done? Wordle? Huh? I've never done that either. Yeah, I got. I get Wordle done all the time. No, I meant uh, the New York Times. The New York Times? Yeah. Like the... Like a Friday edition. Yeah? I mean, I do the games all the time. Isn't that the tougher one? It gets t- hard throughout the week. I've never done Wordle. I've, I've never done it. I just caught Connections is the hard two. one. It's where they give you like a group of like 16 words, and each cat... Like, there's... Four words that go together in a category, and you're supposed to just know what the category is. Yeah. And, oh, shit. And it's just, it's hard. That one's hard, for sure. Because it could just be like, oh, street names. And then you're supposed to guess, like, which four out of, like, the 16 words mm. go together or something like that. Love me a good iMessage game. You know, the ones where you The go, pool? Yeah, Dark. Like <laughs> pigeons. Yeah. Like, the words. But, we're, like, there's, uh, like, five words, and you got to randomize them, and you got to create words out of the letters so you pick up you pick up your phone what are you doing uh and social media or messaging or something really yeah, yeah. Well, dude I, I i talk a lot on the phone yeah yeah but i'm on my phone like my report was like 13 hours a day yeah yikes yeah I just but i mean i use it at work a lot oh, okay. yeah. yeah yeah but well, it's like a quick call that i'm like y'all what up yeah i need yeah. to find something else to do all i do is social media or games. I play yeah. games. I play like the flipping game or Phase Ten or something yeah. like that. I'm I on used... Indeed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just swiping all day. Yeah, I, I should really download that app, dude. Yeah, uh, that's a good one. You should that's... stick with that one. Dog, good app. 
uh, I, I told I'm, Jakey, I, can we do this right now or no? Sure. I told Jakey uh, that my 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 job is hiring. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, you trying to get on? And he was like, yeah. And so I called him out of the blue today with my boss. I was like, as soon as he picked up the phone, I was like, Jakey, 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 you're on speaker. I was like, my boss is in front of me. So he knows. And he's like, oh, hey, man, what's up? I probably wouldn't talk like that. Yeah. He hit my boss with a yeah. What up, fool? Yeah. I was like, Jake, <laughs> like, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, I could do that. I was like, Jake, just drop a surf for the first couple. Yeah. No, no. You no. don't turn it on? <laughs> let's not. No. I was being. Wait, 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 let's, what's, that's the context. What's, what's because Jake's who version is your of boss? this? Who's your boss? Like your best friend. No. Y'all fucking tag team me like, like hey, hey, what? Whoa. What the? Whoa. Now he's sober? <laughs> Is that why you moved out? <laughs> That's crazy you would phrase it like that. Hey. You were like tag teaming me with like unprofessionalism. Both of y'all from the jump. Y'all were like fucking talking all this See? bullshit. See? Y'all were like, no, y'all were talking like dumb shit to me like okay am i supposed to walk this fine line of professionalism with i was being i was being who's also his best friend talking shit to me right now for some weird it is kind of weird to like switch it off (laughs) i was like what the fuck he was just like yeah man i could do that i was like bro at least drop a sir yeah it was weird now now he's representing you yeah like you're vouching for the (laughs) that's why i told him like bro out of all your shithead jobs, I was like, I'm going to need you to give the two weeks for this one. Yeah. Look, you just fucking cut me. That's fucking crazy. I speak my mind. <laughs> Dang. It's like a thumb, dude. <laughs> domestic violence? Really? Is it an actual You got to live here for it to be domestic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. He's there eating chips. Like, what? What's up? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking mo. Nah, man. Nah, I'd make you look good, buddy. Don't worry. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> but it is it, it is Phrasing. tough. It is tough because like you don't uh, you dip out on jobs. That's right. This one I'm, I'm gonna need you to give Damn, it a proper two weeks. Jake. I kill it. Honestly, you know what I, mean? I, I feel you. I understand. I, it. Interviews. Dude, he's gotten so many <laughs> fucking W twos. Interviews crush him. You know, crush, crush him. interviews. Yeah, you, it's the you, work part. You that have I the charm. At. I'm really. Good. <laughs> I'm really That's good at interviews. That's the easy part, you <laughs> asshole. You have the charm. I, yeah. I'm really good at interviews, and I just I do not show that kind of effort. When the job happens, you're kind of like that with women too. Like you turn it on up Ooh. top, and then you get in there. You're just like after the honeymoon phase. Me and Scott after the Wait, honeymoon what? phase. <laughs> that's your that's your uh, ideology too. Like after the honeymoon phase, and you know I'm usually kind of out. How's your work ethic? <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten better it's over gotten the better. years. You, over the years, for sure. A, are you a job hopper? Uh, I used to be, but I'm trying to stay more like settled in. I mean, this job I have now, I've been with a company for over a year. Really? Hell yeah. So really happy about that. Considering like I would get a job and I'd stick stick it down with like three or four months. And then at that point, I would either get like frustrated with how the company was treating me. Or like I'd be going through my own mental shit. Yeah. And then I just like. Drop off the face of the earth. No call, no show. Mm. Laura gets it. <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. No call, no show. That's my move. And the thing yeah. is, like, those are addicting. No calls, no shows. So addicting. Like, once you start doing it, you yeah. can't stop and then doing it. You don't it. get in trouble for it. You're like, what? no. Once, <laughs> once the like fear of that a... fades, you're just like, I'm gonna do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's Ain't a nobody problem. gonna tell me nothing. You know. It's a problem. This is the way I live my life now. <laughs> And the thing yeah. is, is that there's so many places that are just hiring for like minimum wage type jobs that you can just like job hop to job hop with all those no call no shows and oh, it'd know. be fine. But like, I treat indeed like Tinder, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the grass greener? <laughs> That's so funny, dude. You yeah. would quit somewhere to work at Quiznos, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm trying to be better about it because I do want to actually get nicer jobs eventually than just the minimum wage. Yeah. Are shit. you the, are you like a cashier? Uh, so I actually just recently got promoted to shift lead. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. So, but I have questions about, have you like had, I'm assuming or if you work like the morning shift are people just assholes for the most part, mm, cause they haven't the had mornings, their Joe yet. In the mornings, they're just tired, so you can't hit them with the hundred percent energy just on. Yeah, you have to kind of be a little bit more chill and subtle to kind of like adjust adjust to their energy. Yeah, because if I'm up here at like a ten, partying hard, listening to disco rave, and they're just like I 
woke up 15 minutes ago and I'm already late, like that's already going to be a problem for sure. You ever seen the movie Waiting? No. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, I mean. There's this character. Watch Waiting. There's this character that I would think is how you are at work. Watch Waiting. <laughs> and then like, yeah. The I'm curious who. The lady? The the. the the uh, dark hair, short, dark yeah. hair. Yeah. The chick is always like, fucking mad. Yeah. yeah. That's how you what see you, it. What are you looking at? And then you like, go outside right. to the customers like, hey, everybody, yeah. how you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was just like, kind of like that. she's like, thanks. Yeah, yeah. What I need you to do is like, wash the fuck. You can my, turn it on. My, you can turn it on. My coworkers say, damn, Laura, you fake as fuck. And it's just like, <laughs> I don't. See, no, that's professionalism. I th- that's not it's, fake. It's, it's professionalism. Here's the thing. I customers want that cheery, happy, go yeah. lucky. Like they want the bubbly. They, they want that. They eat that shit up. Oh my yeah. god! I, I want. I want you to. I want to think to myself. They need to turn it down a little bit. I can't stand when like the worst customer service. Like I'm bothering them at their job. Yeah. You know? Can I have this? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I guess I was like, "There's nobody here, man. Like yeah. there, you That's need something to do." Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like. I guess I was the, like way, that. the place I work at, they hired very much for personality. We're all personality hires. And low key. Uh, actually, <laughs> Let me, I'm going to Yeah, she y'all. just got promoted, fool. <laughs> I'm going to Actually, y'all. wait, no, we're not because one of our shops had to close down because there might be a sinkhole forming underneath one of them. What the no. fuck? <laughs> Off Broadway? Oh, shit. I don't so, see people Because it's right next yeah. to a car yeah. wash. So, Whoa. like, there's something wrong with, like, the underground, like, piping with the city. Fuck, so they're man. just like, hey, you got to shut this building down. So all the people that were employed there they're are now off. being, like, switched, like, they're divvied up, fed into the other shops. So we're over full because we already did our hiring for, like, the kids that were taking off to college. And we got all those peeps trained up. Mm. And now we have, like, oh, yeah. D- you have like five extra people you have to schedule now. I'm like, fuck. There's, not- there's nothing more annoying than seeing too many people back there. Like, <laughs> when I go like... And you're in the line? Not, not, at, not, not at your place. What, like, this happens at like Chipotle. Like, Chipotle, there should be like... You know why Five Guys is called Five Guys? Because mm-hmm. there's only five guys in the kitchen. That's <gasps> it. Five guys running the whole That's thing. That's why? I didn't That's know that. it. Oh, really? Are you serious? Yeah. Y'all really didn't know that? I didn't know. No, this is like a known thing. That's why it's called Five Guys, because like, there's only five staff members running the whole thing. Like, Who'd you hear this from? Catchy. It's called Five Guys. You go in there, and there's five guys in there. Like that's So they don't hire women? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, <laughs> five, <laughs> women are guys, too. Uh, watch mm. the Olympics. Uh, all right. and, uh, but yeah, it's called Five Guys, because there's five employees manning the station. Mm-hmm. Now, when there's too many people, and you see people like walking, just standing around, I was like... Get out of the way or get my meat in the bowl or something, dude. Oh, like, yeah. do something. I can't stand seeing people like that are getting paid just standing around. So, like, right? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> five guys got his name from the five men in the Merle family Jerry, Jim, Matt, Chad, Ben, and Merle. Whatever. Well, every time I've been, it sounded <laughs> good. It sounded right. Just think about it. There's, we okay. should do something like to wherever we check like a fact and it's wrong, or you gotta like sit it out like the next three minutes or something. Just shut the fuck up for three yeah. minutes. God you, damn. You lose your talking privilege. Sorry, dude. I cuss a lot. It I, sounded, but I I I felt like I had you sold on that. No, a hundred percent. you, you kind of had me sold too, because think yeah. about it. Like, okay, you got a grill man. You got <laughs> you got a cashier. Okay. You got the someone fry guy. on fryer okay. for the fries, and then you got someone. On the line, putting these things together. Okay, what on about the, the trash man? On the line and a prep. And a, they, and take, a, they take turns. Prep. Yeah. Who picks up the shit? They take turns. Probably like, the cashier. When the prep's all done, yeah. or when like the, nobody's like making orders, they go, hey, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, off the grill. I'm going to do the trash now. I'm trash man now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's four guys and a trash guy. Guys, there's only five of us. We could do this. <laughs> Five guys. I re- I legit. I never saw that anywhere. I just put two and two together. I was like, <laughs> "It's called Five Guys." There's five people here. Oh, that's interesting. Five guys. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you said as, pretty as nice as that sounds, that's probably not how they're staffing. It I'll was. tell you how they're probably staffing because this is what a lot of corporations. This, this if is I inside baseball. <laughs> nah, dude. If I see six people in there, I'm walking out. <laughs> this is sketch. One of us is leaving. Yeah, this shit's sketchy, bro. <laughs> so essentially. They'll take a pr- play. They'll look at how much a place is making per hour, and if it reaches a certain marker, they'll add an extra body to the shop to help like make orders and stuff. 
But if you're not making enough, you don't they'll need cut people. Yeah, you don't so need like at my shop, because it's typically a slower shop, you'll usually have one or two people on staff at any time, two any guys. given time. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome so, to two guys. So, so, someone outside <laughs> taking your order, and then the other person just like making the drinks. Yeah, it's yeah, it's intense. Coffee is all you need, really. Yeah, coffee, energy drinks, green teas, you lemonades. You grind it, I make it, we got this. Yeah. How much coffee do you drink in a day? In a day? Oh my god, that's a dangerous question. Um. I probably drink about how many cups? Three to four medium sized cups. So like, what size is that? That's a large. Okay. How many larges? <laughs> <laughs> if I, I if I'm drinking larges, I'll usually do like one large, two smalls. Is that like a refresher or does it have caffeine? That's in it? pure energy drink right oh, there. Oh shit. So you do the it's caffeine so and late. the energy drink. It's so late. I can't I'm do it. I'm ADHD, so basically this is just like a little sleepy time. I haven't it's done coffee time in treat. months. Like I haven't done coffee in months. I used to drink it like every day. I'm I'm like off really? it. Yeah. You? I drink it every day. Really? I, I used to drink it every day. Yeah. It's been months since I had a cup. It's probably good for you to not drink it every I day. I only drink it when it's cold outside. Mm. Really? But I'm just like, That's the only time I like it. Do you do a it. hot coffee? Yeah. Yeah. I love me an iced coffee. I'll just do one cup though. Like I'm not yeah. multiple cups a day guy. No, I'm I've multiple never cups. Done, I've never done iced coffee. Not even in college. Really? Never done it. Never tried it. I like the instant gratification. I, I like wait. I like hot coffee. Well, that's the I've done like those ready made like buy off the shelves uh, Starbucks yeah, cold. stuff. Yeah. But I've never ordered from a station from a person two guys. <laughs> <laughs> one or two. Ice coffee. One or two guys. Yeah, one or you two guys. Try it sometime. I like I like hot coffee and I that's like nice. black coffee. I don't do like the. After Later time. of like orders. oh I get the I, I want bells I have and whistles cab, double sugar yeah. blah, 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 this blah, is the only time I get it yeah no, I don't I don't do the work so or I, I just tell them I, look I don't really drink coffee whatever you make just like whatever you would get just give me that no mm. it's a black coffee or every now and then I'll do like caramel macchiato or whatever Starbucks got like that's got brown sugar in it or something Fancy, during the yeah. fall you a sucker for that brown yeah, sugar yeah. ain't you <laughs> 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 phrasing phrasing yeah dude. <laughs> Uh, I'm drinking horchata right now, though. <laughs> yeah. Horchata? She's Mexican? Okay. Ah, okay. All right. Mm. Uh, oh, y'all still together? We're working it out. Yeah. <laughs> good, man. Same answer two weeks in a row. Being a good boy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm being a good boy. I'm trying. I'm off the sauce. I'm off the apps. <laughs> this is the funny Yikes. shit. Jake did this. I forgot. Jake reminded me of this. Mm. This was maybe a year ago. He was like, hey, I'm about to delete the app because he ain't got a new girlfriend. Yeah. Again. <laughs> and this fool goes, hold on. I just want to check it one more time. Oh, what dog. the hell? So he checks it. There's nothing pops up. He's like, bitch. And then he deletes <laughs> it. Dang. It's time to go. Oh, that was some of his finest work. That's toxic AF, man. Yeah. yeah listen, I like to bounce around. I like to get out there. I Jeez. want to. Like, I'm That's crazy. You're not riddled with STDs. <laughs> no, hey, wait, 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 we didn't say that. What you I'm doing? clean. I got the card still to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, you have to, did you have to give it to your girl? No, nah, I showed it to her, though, just to be nice and courteous. It's not like a driver's license. You got to update it like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good for four years <laughs> till my birthday. I'm good. <laughs> I've tried convincing the wife when I'm drunk. I was like, "Hey, we should download the apps just for funsies. I just want to see like who would hit her up, who would hit me up." But like, she's not down with it, which is okay because I'm pretty sure she would like win. Not that it's a game, but if we're playing a game, like she would definitely win. <laughs> And uh, I would, it would just be sad for me. Like, nobody? Nobody? <laughs> <laughs> no, they give me some throwaways. Yeah, it'll be the unwanted ones, you know? Like, you're like, oh, I don't want her to like me. It, oh, it definitely does fun. drain your stock. Like, whatever you think no. you are, it takes it down to a But that's the thing. I have, I have no set. No, you can beat up a zero. I have no set uh, idea of what, like, two, three, four. I have no set idea. I'm just. I'm, you just want to know who's into you. I just, yeah, I just want to know. Yeah. I just want to know. I think it's a dangerous game to play if you bring it up. It's nice. I'm the only one that brings it up. So, she so like, <laughs> you do it and then just see. No, 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 no. I, I also I want I want her to know like uh, hey I could this I is still the shit got that, it. this is the shit that you're gonna get if you <laughs> fucking don't back right you know mm-hmm. these are the this is the pool of people oh, that will be you're doing it to hurt to teach her a lesson not but. to hurt not to hurt but just to appreciate what you got yeah the grass ain't always greener Jake <laughs> I mean you live by the gay strip so 
Do it. You can always go there. He, he knows. It's sort of close, right? It's not close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not close enough. <laughs> Like you were considering gonna... it? What the fuck? If it was closer, maybe. Man, I'm really learning more about Patrick tonight. Yeah, man. If, can I walk there? Well, yeah, then I ain't, yeah. I ain't doing it, man. No. Patrick's more of an opportunist than I thought. Yeah. Oh, for sure, yeah. If, if, <laughs> it has to be, you know, easy. It has to be, uh, you know, location, location, location. Oh, uh, he'd for sure be the type that got tricked by the, the gay, the gay yeah. bus van thing. Cheating is two miles or less, dude. I like it. <laughs> I've gone to gay bars with the wife though, and I always make sure that like people know. Like I see like people like looking at me and be like, "It's nice though." Look, if you ever want confirmation or affirmation or just like, you know, um, confidence, just go by the gay bar. No, I know watch that. Watch people look. Look, I know I can fucking kill it. In the <laughs> I'm not worried about that. I just want to see what are the ladies would like throw it at me. Patrick Christopher <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel with the gays. Oh, uh, no doubt. <laughs> No doubt. <laughs> Point of salt to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> but I like. I want to see what the ladies think. How that? You know, not, not if we were. If it was okay with the wife. You know, uh, Lord, for the game. It. For the. For the ha ha. For the ha ha. For the hee hees. Are you on the apps? Uh, I just redownloaded Tinder. I don't know why, because I I know I I get tired of it within like two days. Yeah. Uh, just because there's so many people that just want my attention, and I just like shut the fuck up Jeez. and leave me alone. Uh, that was I- that was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so many people want to fuck me. <laughs> I know. Oh. It's such a difficult life I lead. Oh why, my god. Why Tinder? Not why not the other ones like the Bumble or the Plenty of Fish? Hinge is just too much work, and Bumble I don't like making the first move. Hinge is hinge is for like the fucking like long haul, right? For the I'm, relationship yeah, stuff. Yeah, for you're, real. You're not a hinge. Nah. I failed. You're like if I'm <laughs> if I'm looking at where I am in life and like what I want to do with these next couple of years, I can't get like tied down. All right. Respect. I, yeah, like Respect. I know, like literally, I'm about to move in the next couple months. So why would I start? Oh, you're to Austin. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but like, you don't got that many years left, kid. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna throw a shoe at you. I swear to God. Just kidding. Hopefully, you don't throw like a girl. No. Nah, my parents said I had the line ba- shoulders of a linebacker, so it'll hurt. Urlacher? <laughs> what? Reference. Uh, There's a football player. Okay, so say. <laughs> So you're on a first date, right? And yeah. so, like, you don't have a, like a well of like references, like TV shows or movies and stuff. Like, what, what do you talk? And, like, are you just you play defense? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you, do you bring up any subjects? Or you're just like, you know, whatever, you, whatever you throw at me, ting, ting, ting. Tennis ball, dude. You're fucking ping pong and shit. <laughs> what are you into? What are you into? <laughs> yeah. Do you like? How, it's do like you coming like? to America. <laughs> I'm into whatever you're into. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like, What's your favorite food? <laughs> your favorite food is my favorite food. That is. Have you seen Code in America? Uh, bits of it. Not get the, the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay. So like, yeah. So, so do on, you control on the a first date? Usually, I'm matching with guys who are also kind of like nerdy. So that helps because I'm into anime. I try hide it so hard, but I I just have to lean into it. I guess. Why hide it? Uh, cause like the guys that like anime are fucking awful and disgusting. <laughs> Bro, it's either like <laughs> it's black gross. people and autistic white people. Oh, and like either they don't have good hygiene or like they're just like, oh, what? you're gonna be my wife who, <laughs> and it's just like get Dang. the fuck out of my face. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> what noise <laughs> you made? <laughs> Didn't you know that that was those type of like the uh, the environment, the environment of that kind that's of that entertainment crowd. genre? Yeah, that's the crowd for that. Yeah. Well, when that's I got audience. into it, I was alone and I had no friends. And <laughs> oh yeah. So <laughs> literally, <they. laughs> so literally, my grandma introduced me to anime. Damn. <laughs> that's talk about setting me up to fail. My grandma. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma got me watching Ninja Scroll. I don't know if y'all seen that movie. I've never heard of Ninja Scroll. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. So I I was watching like Akira Ninja Scroll, really fucked up, like psychological shit at six years old. Yeah. Uh, Because my grandma grandma just thought, oh, it's cartoons. It'll be fine. So she wasn't a fan of it. She just thought it was cartoons in here. Yeah, but she's also a fan of that type of stuff, too. Oh, okay. so I thought she, she got la- you into this, like, last week or something. <laughs> no, no, no. I was doomed from the start. Okay, okay. Um, so my grandma 
got me into Acura and Ninja Scroll has like a full on. That's an edit. <laughs> That's an edit. That's an edit. Oh, I didn't know there was a line. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. we don't say. Well, I don't know. Is like, is it just when men say it, or can females say it? I don't know. Oh, that's an edit. Uh, no, nah, uh, man, because I've watched reels. They cover up when girls say it too. Mm, All right. Gotcha. Uh, so lots of like, so Watership Down. Do you remember Watership Down? No. It's that book it. about the rabbits. The rabbits. Yeah, I don't know if y'all had to read it for high school, but in my high school, I had to read it where it's about rabbits and they're trying to like move from one colony to another, and while they're like moving across the land, they get attacked by dogs, and they're like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> that was a school. Yeah, oh. Watership Down. Watership uh, Down. It's a very dark, heavy book. Uh, they made an animated version of it, and that thing gave me nightmares for Dang. sure. <laughs> Cause like, at one there's one scene where like the farmers are like, we're just gonna flood the rabbit holes. So you see a whole bunch of rabbits drowning, <laughs> just drowning rabbits on screen. Wow, it's insane. But that, this is the stuff that you like. This is the stuff I was watching at like five, six years old. It's like oh, okay. bad for So it, it, it's just like, oh, that's not good for a child's mental health. Did the fact that it was like anime, like kind of like take like eat, take the ease, uh, or yeah. take the the sting out of it? I guess. Are you into waterboarding? <laughs> <laughs> Only on other people. All right? <laughs> it's just fine. Yeah, it's just fine. Uh, I guess because it was animated, it, got, it did kind of like desensitize. Because like, of cartoons, cartoons. Yeah, because like, it's yeah. cartoons. It's flashy. It's colors. It's. But like now that I'm an adult, looking back on it, I was like, oh, the storyline was like that's really dark. bad. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, man. <laughs> I think I think the only anime I've seen like. Completely top, like front to back or whatever, is probably like Afro Samurai. Afro Samurai is good though. And that was because Samuel L. Jackson was in it, and the yeah. RZA did the soundtrack. Is that yeah. Afro Jack? Is that the same thing? No. No. Who did no. the soundtrack? RZA. RZA from Wu Tang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Afro Samurai is good though. So. And it, it is hard. Like the uh, mm-hmm. the the music from it, I really liked it. Mm-hmm. Did a couple seasons of Avatar. That's it. What? I did the Dragon last Ball Z. Band, Avatar, Dragon the last Z, Airbender. Yeah. That doesn't count as. It doesn't count? It doesn't really count. It's more of a cartoon than it is anime. I'm sorry. That's a hot take, too. I know it's a hot take, but it's more cartoon than anime. Yeah, because when I I watched it, I didn't even know what anime was. I was just watching because it was on Cartoon Network or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, that is anime. And us Mexicans love Dragon Ball Z. Never see a lot. I could see You're it. You're not a true on, Mexican. I'll, I'll, I'll like never <laughs> got into it. This is true. What were you saying that wasn't anime? Because I thought you, I thought you said one? Dragon Ball Z wasn't anime. No, the shit Dra- he was talking about. Avatar. Avatar. Oh, Avatar. Not. Dragon Ball Z, yes. Okay. Is that where, is he get his name, got his name from? Who? What's it, what's it called? Avatar? Yeah. Is there more to it? The Last Airbender? The Last Airbender. I think that's where the guy that's fighting next week oh, got his name from. The Last Stylebender. Yeah. That's uh, his nickname. Yeah. Interesante. Yeah, huh, yeah. Interesting. Now, what is the correlation between people that are fans of anime and furries? Oh, that's let's get real. Uh, I I hate that they're so closely related, but they kind of are like closely related because like cosplay is pretty hot. It depending on the level. Uh, so like in anime, they have these characters called like cat animal people, where they have like cat ears. And stuff, oh, I see that and then video. from the from the cat, <laughs> girls with the cat ears to the cat tails, it's just one slip up into furry. They just, don't put on a musical, do they? <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, Sometimes. Furry the musical. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I don't know. The, the furry off. community is just like confusing and just chaotic. And okay, have, you, so, have you dipped your toes in it? Uh, no. Not for, the furry stuff. For those watching who probably might not know what a furry is it's like sexual you wear a costume right or a bear suit so they dancing bear something? they wear like a full animal <laughs> suit much like you would see at like a football game with like an animal mascot, a mascot yeah yeah it's not always sexual but most of the time the sexual part is the loudest part that you hear he's a dancing bear yeah i thought like bachelorette parties were just blowing this dude yeah. i thought that's what a furry was bring in the furries <laughs> 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 so confused. I didn't know what no. a furry was. So it's not so cool. I, can't we be the <laughs> I thought furries were like you dress up in a bear suit. I don't think it was completely sexual, but I thought there was like uh There's a subsect that is sexual. It can't go and that kind of takes over. 
but overall, like you can have furries that aren't <laughs> that aren't sexual. <laughs> are you are you pro or, or, or uh, again, anti furry? There needs to be a limit. You guys have to kind of control and self govern yourselves. Like you cannot just let, because like no one's in charge of like keeping each other in check. So it causes these issues. Like there was a huge furry convention that has been like permanently banned from one hotel chain because <laughs> yeah. they absolutely destroyed the fuck out of this hotel. Yeah, man. You can't get so, that stink out, dude. Basically, <laughs> they were having the furry convention. <laughs> <laughs> they were having the furry convention and then it was just poorly organized. So people, random people were just showing up and getting into this convention. And then there was fights happening like Fist fights for sure. Furry fist fights? Yeah. And then because those suits are so difficult to put on and off, some people wear diapers to avoid oh. going to the bathroom. And they would just leave their dirty diapers just like in the parking lots or like in the hotel lobbies. Like they were absolutely fucking disgusting. Damn. And that is why like most like I don't really I don't really vibe with furries if like that's your thing. Keep it over there. Keep that, it away from me. That's crazy. That's <clears throat> yeah. Was it a Comic Con? No, it was like a convention specifically for furries. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? So yeah, furries is like the fandom of like anthropomorphic anthropomorphic animals. You just said that in the chamber. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, because I for someone that doesn't fuck with them, that was, quick. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, it's called autism, dude. <laughs> So anthropomorphic is the attribution of human characteristics, emotions, or intentions to non-human entities or objects. Yeah. For example, the <laughs> for, example, <laughs> for example, for example, the brave little toaster. Yeah, the Jungle Book have their own personalities. The animals in the Jungle Book have like their own personalities, thoughts, and emotions. Oh, so it's like humanized. Like, yeah. You're so into, like, so like Bugs Bunny. You would. Okay. Would would if you liked Bugs Bunny, you would be considered a furry by that definition. Yo, hit me up, Lola. Yeah, there you go. Lola Bunny, yeah. Lola cartoon? Bunny was hot in the '90s. All right, fuck y'all. Uh, yeah, that's they, what we were saying. Yeah. They messed her up in the '20s, man. They kind of gave her a <laughs> made her press, black. They gave her oh. a breast reduction. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Pat. I thought they gave her a breast reduction. <laughs> uh, they dressed her more conservatively. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put some respect on it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, so no, scene. no furries. Yeah. Is wow. that like if they found if if somebody found out like the or if you found out that somebody was a furry even if they gave up that life they're not about that life no more <laughs> would you be like. Nah, man, it's still in there. I still know that you have you still that, that fur life. I still you know, furry deep, motherfucker. I still, <laughs> I still know deep down in your soul, you're a depraved individual, right? Yeah. Like you can't, you, you, you can't escape it. Like you Once, can't shake that, no matter how long it's been. If you if you admit it, it's out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You the, furry. It don't ever. You don't. Uh, furry motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you furry freak. You don't leave the furry. You know. There's a saying in there somewhere. I don't know what it is, though. But so, uh, You can so, take the furry out of the fandom, but you can't take the fandom out of the furry. There it is. There it is. Five guys. Never heard true words. <laughs> <laughs> two guys. One or two guys. Yeah. So what? what's the biggest, like, turn off or what's, like, the biggest ick for you on a date or, like, the apps or something? Like, what's one thing you see and you're just like, immediately, no. Mm, if they're hood. If they're hood? Damn. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so it's like sh straight up, you like nerds. Yeah, I do like nerds. I like a, a tall, nerdy white guy. Who do you think sure. is the most hood out of Patrick, myself, and Scott? Scott. <laughs> Why would you say that? Your accent. Accent. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is about to be the shortest fucking pod we've had. <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. I think you're right. It's, it's Brighter the order is Scott, Patrick, and then uh, Jake. Wow, man. Bottom shelf, bitch. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know what? It wasn't until I like I thought about it when we left yesterday, or when uh, last week, when Quasi was like, dude, your place does look kind of project-ish. Ish, yes. You got it, Fabuloso on your refrigerator right now. All day, player. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's point out the hood things in Scott's apartment. Yeah. It's not that hood. The Wu-Tang forever. <laughs> That's not hood. Dude, I was knocking on the door. I could hear the, the neighbor 
And all I could hear is like, yeah, I suck dick. I suck, I suck dick anytime I want, dude. <laughs> I do that all the time. I do it whenever I want. I was like, dog, go meet your neighbors, bro. <laughs> no. Really? Guy or girl saying it? It was a girl. <laughs> Passion the opportunist. If it was a guy, it would be over right now. <laughs> well, the fact that you even asked is so funny, dude. Was it a guy? <laughs> nah, she was a female. <laughs> See, now you got me wanting to talk with her. She was a female. <laughs> that comes out. That comes out. <laughs> It's like I'm not hood, but when you think I'm hood, I'm like, well, I gotta represent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hood. No, I'm not hood. <laughs> got so I was. I did grow up Renner Center rich. I was more like M word rich, you know. <laughs> what? What the fuck is the M word? <laughs> what the fuck? M word. <laughs> you would say the N word, but he's not that. <laughs> I'm M word rich. Uh, all right, I don't Bro, know. I've been. <laughs> I don't know dude, if that was anything, but I, was. I've been ducking. I've been ducking Renna Center for a long time. Oh, is, that oh. still, is that still a thing? I they, used to work for Renna Center. They used to bang <laughs> on my door, bro. I used to hide like I was still Team Six. Yeah, bro, get on the ground, like I shut the fuck up. Nah, man. That was at the last apartment. Mm. Oh. I, I knew Renner Center when I was a kid. Like, that was legit. Like, I would have friends come over, and, like, they're like, we have, like, entertainment center, records, uh, you know, all this stuff. And people thought we were rich. We weren't rich. We were just had. You are paying a lot Renner more than center. what it was worth. Yeah, they were. Which is why I ran on them. Over. Yeah. I felt I gave them enough money at the time. <laughs> 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 that we needed to stop this conversation. <laughs> so, I'm not going to pay you no more. You're not going to get none from me. <laughs> I felt <laughs> it was what the TV was worth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I'm done paying. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's fair yeah. enough. I feel like you beat me up for a little bit. I got, you know, this. So say, oh, say they come in re- and repo, you know, because they do furniture. They do luck getting in. all this stuff. Not only get in, but like, what if you like destroy it before they pick it up? Like, no, I mean, break it goes everything. Oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you can have it if you if you care about that. Yeah, there, if that's a thing, you care I got, about I got it. good credit right now. So fuck what's Laura, going on? How you living? Laura would not that. be into Rena Center clientele. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah. I got that seven forty five, baby. Dang, well, who do you know? Huh? Who do you know? I gotta be up early too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no one. I, that's just me working hard on my own. <laughs> You're an independent woman. That's nice, man. Yeah. Don't need no man. I really don't. I really don't. There's I've been, dude that's I worked at my work a... to other dudes. <laughs> that? Like, if someone's pushing something, he's like, oh, you need some help? The guy will be like, nah, I got it. He's like, there you go, girl. You don't need no man. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> I'm not conforming to these work environments. See that? Point? That's like, but he told me that he like uh, you know told you about the job, was trying to hook you up. I was like, Scott, he's not good with working places, dude. But I, I know that, and arms. I know how the people are at my work, so he's gonna fit right in. Yeah, yeah. if he stays, <laughs> <laughs> just give him two weeks. That's all I know. I don't mean work there for two weeks. I mean I quit. Want, Just I give a two week notice. I want Irish goodbye. You. I'll be, I'll be a gentleman, handshake and a verbal contract. <laughs> mm. I'll do you right, baby. Chill, chill the fuck I'll out. Do, what I'll, are you doing? I'll, I'll do right by you. <laughs> yeah. Holy. Fuck. You, you sound like I fucking picked you up off the street, give dude. Give me a chance. <laughs> yeah. I'll make you feel good. <laughs> You and your boss already double teamed him. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, uh, do you quit jobs uh, before this? Because you, say, I know you said like you've been like there for a while, but like, were you a, a two weeks notice person, or are you just like fuck this job? Mm, I just kind of like dip out and just disappear. Really? Uh, especially since like, so in my past workplaces, like <laughs> it was either like a small family owned restaurant that never gave me hey. my schedule ahead of time until like I was at work. Mm. And then once I was there, like, Hey, this is your schedule for tomorrow. Or like, 
oh, can you work the double today? I don't care that you had like other things to do tonight, but we don't have anyone else, so we need you to stay. Dang. Fuck off. So <laughs> lots of that. So I no call, no showed them. Uh, no call, no showed Fiesta Texas because fuck Fiesta Texas. Six Flags. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Fuck that place. They were allowed to go there they, as a patron. They put me in charge of some kid that had the dissociative identity disorder. You know how hard it was to deal with that shit? It's not dissociative easy to say. Identity. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even know what, what, what that was. What's that mean? Who, yeah, yeah. who that is? It, what was his name? <laughs> what yeah. animals are they into? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're on the right track. Yeah. It's like some kid that had like multiple personalities and they would just be like, oh, I'm triggered by like stuffed animals. And it's like, this is the worst place for you to fucking work at. You had to just drug them up. They didn't just drug them up. They should. Mm-mm. Have y'all ever like quit a job and like went back as like a customer? Or customer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yeah. I Like till this day, <laughs> till this day. I worked at Jason's Deli for a bit, right? Ooh. I was did a, a, you did a stint at Jason's? I was a delivery driver. And I, was, okay. I, was, I lived uh, by Ingram at the time, and I still lived at home. And so my mom would make orders. She would call it orders. But she would put, like, my grandma's address, which is, like, a half hour away. And then I would just go across, like, I-10 and go have dinner with my family and all that stuff. But anyway, anyway, anyway. That's hilarious. I quit that job. And till, this was like fucking. That's a sneaky move, dude. You're stealing money. Very no, my mom came up with that, dude. I was like, that's a, I, that wasn't even my thing. She was like, yeah, I'll, I'll put. I'll, you'll know it's us because I put grandma's address. Then come bring some sandwiches and have have some dinner with us. So I was like, <laughs> okay, it was a smart move. Uh, but uh, to this day, when I go to Jason's Deli, I look around a bit, and it's been like twenty years. Oh <laughs> man, just go pop up. Do I still look around? Like, do I recognize anybody? Do they recognize me? All right. Fucking give me a Chris sandwich or whatever. <laughs> the California, please. <laughs> I think the only place I'll do that is uh, the bookshop I worked at, the Pearl. Uh, but that's because I actually gave them a proper two two weeks notice. So yeah, when you if do I proper, give them like, a proper two weeks notice, yeah. I, it's less bad. But every other place, I feel too ashamed. Yeah. I feel too like disgusted with myself to show my face again. Mine's like the bars though, bars that I worked at. You can't go back. I can go, go back there all day. Yeah. One time, uh, they wouldn't let me in the bar that I had just quit at. <laughs> Bro, Whoa, listen to this shit. He said because that. they have gang gang affiliated tattoos. Yeah. I was like, bro, I just quit last week from working <laughs> yeah. here. You never probably me working here before. Yeah, yeah. Me and my set, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then they, they ended up letting me back in. That was at, uh, what was it? Where's Buck Ice House? Mm. Oh, yeah. So well, they, they upped their class of uh, No, I, I, w- I was just there. Yeah, yeah, I was just there again. <laughs> um, and then I, I used to go to Oasis all the time. Just got that hood in you. Yeah, I get trashed. At Oasis is not. A, I have done really bad stuff. Yeah, there. and everybody <laughs> looks like you there. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, the women do. Hey, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> no. But yeah, that Jason's though. That's the only one that I, that I, yeah, go back to and just like you have a good report. They fucking no, they fucking know. But I, uh, I got kicked out of a Schlotsky's and I've never been into one now. Yeah. Yeah, they got I don't a think I've bar. ever entered a slot. So I got was... kicked out of one as a freshman in high school, and I got banned from one, and I took that as personal disrespect against all of them. How'd you get kicked out? You get into a fight. Oh, well. <laughs> well, what it. was the fight about? Do you... Dude was just disrespecting my, one of my homies. <laughs> you get his order right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't even. It was in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all gonna refill this pepper bar or what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I, dude, he said something to me, and I just threw a, like a like a nice. He was in a car, and I was a freshman. Mm. He was older than me, but he was. You know, he was he wasn't a big dude punched the car. by any means. No, I punched I caught him in the face. <laughs> I fucking saw him at he school. He was in the car? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Dude, he, he punched that's the car. his fault. Oh, he's in the car. He even had that bitch in drive. Oh. But I just stuck him with the little left. Yeah. And then I saw him on Monday, he still had a black eye. I was like, Yeah. I did that to you. Anyways, go ahead. Continue. Gangster, man. So, plan, <laughs> plan with Austin. You said about another month or so, six months? A couple months, yeah. Couple months. Coming, coming up here soon, before 2025. So. Before 2025. Nice. Mm-hmm. How are you, you going up? You getting up more in Austin than you do here? What do you mean? For comedy? Stage time. Oh, yeah. But I've also. So, I started comedy in San Marcos. Mm-hmm. And then right Were you at Wake the Dead? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where I remember like, yeah. first meeting you. Yeah. I'm a big Wake the Dead fan. Rep it till I die. Uh, <laughs> it's a great room. It's just like it's the. You saw that? It's so young for me, dude. Did you see what she did? Yeah, man, but she don't like hood people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you hate what you are. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's isn't that inherent or like uh, inter- internalized racism or something like that? No, oh, I love opposites Mexicans. Opposites attract. You know, I do enjoy dating outside my race. <laughs> There's something to that. Oh, yeah, uh, I brought this up last but, time. But we'll go back to the comedy oh, yeah. plan. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so, do you enjoy? Uh, when you when you make love to somebody, do okay. you enjoy to your look like me? ethnicity or other ethnicities? Or in look your like own? Scott? White boys, <laughs> white boys, really? Yeah, oh. mainly mainly white guys. Even when I try to date someone who's not a white guy, it always ends up being a surprise white guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's a surprise? What? All right. Like a Mexican with good credit? Like what? That's uh, That's that might be the episode <laughs> title: surprise white guy. What's a surprise <laughs> white guy? So I went. And was in like kind of like a situation ship with this guy. Tall. Uh his skin tone was like darker than Jake, for sure. Dark hair, <laughs> dark eyes. I thought I was not fucking a white guy. Turns out he was white. What makes him white? What do you mean? Uh he was his mom his dad was white, his mom was Fili- like or his like grandmother was Filipino. And so he got all the Filipino coloring. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> color thing. That's it for the title. <laughs> All the Filipino color. He was Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> or like <laughs> at the time I was uh, hooking up. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, <laughs> So once you found he was white, you're like, I don't want none of this. Gross. Well, no. You liked the Philippines. You didn't like the white. Get away, cracker. It was fine. It was fine, but it was like, oh, I thought I was finally uh, dating someone other than Did a white guy. Did y'all break up because he was Filipino? No, we broke up because he said, quote unquote, I'm falling in love with you and I just can't do that right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> he Keep told you he couldn't do it? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's some real pimp player wow. shit, dog. <laughs> yeah. And real. then he Dude. got married to the next woman he dated. Yeah. Oh, I'm just letting you know, shot. he was already dating her. Yeah. No, because I think uh, they met way after. Mm. I kept track. All right. I'm wow. Psycho I, am, him. I am psycho that way. All right. I know this. That's why. That's, I, that's a hood tendency. Yeah. <laughs> you are hood. I'm mentally ill, not hood. There's a difference. All right. Fuck you, dude. Just fucking <laughs> denying us. You're a real Judas right now. You're welcome. <laughs> also white. So. Uh, 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 the the guy the that <laughs> uh, was uh, mixed black, he was <laughs> he was ginger, <laughs> very Whoa, ginger, very God. freckly. Like oh, I was like, oh, if I did not see a picture of him with his sister, you, I would have thought he was completely a white guy. Oh wow! Yeah, well, you're in the anime characters, I think. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the furry of anime <laughs> people or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Explain. Ginger black guy, white, Asian. I don't know, man. I just see them like <laughs> give him a sword and I think you'll marry one of them. So you, you brought up the Asian As long right? as they eat fun, like ramen. She's like, I'm in, dude. <laughs> yeah. So there's this kid in San Antonio. I don't know if you saw this. There's a kid. I think he's 14. I think he's younger than that, but he said he's 14. Uh, he did a guest spot on the Ian Bag show. Mm-hmm. Right, and so he did the late show. So after the show, I'm just like, "Hey, man, I, you know, where, where are you from? Just, you know, Austin, California, whatever." And he goes, no, "I'm American." <laughs> I was oh, like, "Hell yeah!" What dude? His, his dad's like, "Yeah, we, you know, he was born here, so he's American." I was like, "I didn't. Okay, I didn't mean that part at all." As fuck, right? Like, <laughs> dude, he's been trained. I was yeah. like, "I know." Yeah. He's, he's no, but he said it with an attitude as if I was like asking, like, oh, where are you what from? Kind of what kind of what Asian kind of are, yeah. are you? I was just like, so because I haven't seen him before, you know. What so I was like, where gas you, station, you got a California? Like, how do you know, you know, all this stuff? He's like, I'm American. I was like, all right, kid. Uh, he did okay, he did, he did better than I did. Uh, the Damn. crowd, the crowd loved this kid, and uh, I mean, it's all nominee, it's a little yeah. kid telling jokes. Does he have like an Asian name, like Johnny Chu? No. <laughs> no. Benoit? Ben, it's Ben H, but he just, or he says, introduce me as Ben H, but he's has Ben Wah well, or something like that, I guess. Uh, but I get off stage, uh, you know, after I bring him off stage, and then I go back, I say, oh, good set, man. And he goes, hey, man, if we ever work together, next time you introduce me, do this. And he gave me, like, tags to do before I introduced him. I was like, mm. And to him, I was like, oh, that's funny. In my mind, I was like, go fuck yourself, kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
do if we ever worked it, we'd never work it again. again. <laughs> if I have any say in it. Uh, but it was wild. Like that was like his sixth time ever doing stand up. He did upstage. I saw that clip that he did upstage. Oh, he lives here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from he's American. And uh <laughs> but no, from San Antonio. And uh he's done Dakota, I think. It's a and weird pe- place for uh, Asian What the fuck's his dad like? Usually they're kinda like you know, old school. No, he's, he's stoic. Oh, he must be from here. No, he's stoic. He's yeah, stoic's a good word. He's very uh you know He bows. Reserved. What if he's stealing all his jokes? I don't know. His dad's uh, translating him from a Japanese. His, dad, his dad's older. I think he said like he's the youngest. The kid's the youngest. I talked to the dad more than I talked to the kid, which is fine. Which it makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. I mean, but yeah, I was because the dad's like asking like, so uh, he's he's the youngest, and we kind of think that's why he has the thing for. But he's like, what about you? Are you the youngest? I was like, I am the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> He just goes, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's interesting. Needs attention. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting. Uh, but yeah, dude, wild. It was wild stuff that he got. You know got what? A, a I am spot. also the youngest. You're the old, you're youngest? I am the youngest. You're the oldest. Oh, you know, you're the middle? Yeah. Middle child. Middle child. Oh. I was a problem child for sure. Interesting. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I've been in terror since the public school <laughs> era. <laughs> ACDC, <laughs> problem child, baby. Uh, I was like, I'm running away. I got nowhere to go, guys. I'm coming back. <laughs> you know I mean? you threatened to run away? Yeah, I was a terrible problem child. Dude. That was last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I moved in with Scott. They're like, you'll be back. <laughs> you'll be back. <laughs> Scott said I could stay whenever I wanted. Yeah. I got a place to go. Fuck you, mom. I got options. You think my, you're my only option? I got options. <laughs> <laughs> I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, we could wrap up. Laura, thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, yeah. Anything you got coming up? This will probably come out either Thursday or Friday at the latest. Uh, you can check find uh, me at the Big Sad Podcast. You want to work on that? Oh, yeah, right. yeah. You do the Big Sad. With I do the, the Big Sad Podcast with Jack Neal and Jason Johnson. Yeah. I also nice. have a podcast called Fet Splaining with my friend Alina Casales. Where we break down certain f- kinks and fetishes, and just go into like the history of like, hey, where did this come from? How long has this been a thing? And what does it look like now? Random fact, go quick. Uh, ancient Egyptians used to get pegged. Ancient I- Pharaoh Egyptians <laughs> used to get pegged. Why'd you point at me? When Maybe you, said that? you got a little Egyptian <laughs> in your you butt. <laughs> they used to be pegged uh, because of a f- there was a fertir- fertility ritual where the pharaoh. Is that why Jake? <laughs> <laughs> just go furry again. <laughs> Egyptian <The> fertility. <laughs> 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 so ancient Egyptian pharaohs would have to come into the Nile River to what? have like good crops and yeah, in order sure. to like get their stream stronger to like really shoot it in there they would get pegged by their queens interesting there you go you, That's, got you heard that wife <laughs> yeah you heard that wife <laughs> <laughs> we go old school real quick. <laughs> There's your sex fact for you. How do they how do they find out? Like, was there like pictures of stuff, mm-hmm. all that stuff? Hieroglyphics, ancient dildos. Ancient dildos. That's the <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> <Ancient dildos. laughs> No, I don't know about that. I don't know if that'll get any yeah, I know There's we're not worried about the algorithm oh right now God. with my that. Favorite, it's my favorite treasure of all time is a double ended jade dildo that they found in the Ming dynasty of China. Wow. It's gorgeous. It stands on its own with balls. It's gorgeous. Hey, dude. Wow. Weird. <laughs> That's a fucking weird thing to say about it. That's a very, it, yeah, very interesting uh, podcast concept. Send Fet, me a picture. Fet's flaming. Yeah, Fet's flaming. <laughs> Jacob will tell you how much you can take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really quick before we wrap up, there's this one quick game I wanted to play really fast. It's called Patter Scott. Okay. I'm gonna Why tell are you, you off to try to get th- Because she's our guest, and I came up with the game. It's my rules. Okay, <laughs> okay middle child. Yeah, dude. I came up. At mall underscore liquor underscore poppy. One factoid. One really quick factoid. We're going to do this next episode. But one quick factoid. Is this Pat or Scott? I'm going to tell you a quick fact. One of these gentlemen threw a drumstick into a river. At one point in their lives. Now that drumstick could be an instrument. It could be a piece of food. Who's oh, who wow. knows? You know what I mean. So who threw a drumstick in a river? Is Both. it Pat or Scott? Both. No, you got to choose. <laughs> Both. Him with food. Him with music. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Duty Man. Homie, bro. <laughs> that was solid. Peace. Peace.